there, I am Jake, and you know what's amazing? Magnets. But we're not here to talk about magnets today. Instead, we're gonna talk about an instrument that we all have, which is our throat, and then we're also gonna talk about ears, which isn't really an instrument. But let me show you this clip. That is called Tuvan throat singing, or hume, which is an ancient Mongolian technique of singing two tones at the same time, and we can do it too with the power of dongs. Things that you can do online now, guys. Pink trombone was featured in a previous dong, but there's even more to talk about. If we hit the pitch wobble button, it'll hold a single note. If we right click anywhere, we can keep it from snapping back to its original shape. So then we'll make a little cave with the tongue and then use the front of the tongue to change the shape of the cave. Bam! You're singing two notes. But how does this actually work? Well, it comes down to how we perceive and create tones. Whenever we hear a tone, we're hearing the main note, also called the fundamental, and then a bunch of other notes on top of it called overtones. And tones are the frequencies we hear and notes are the same name we give to them. So this is a tone, but calling it a G makes it a note. Anyway, what these singers are doing is isolating the overtones with their tongue and amplifying it with their lips, causing a two-tone whistle. Now, Pudding.Cool has a great visualizer on overtones. The brighter a sound is, the more overtones it has. Bright sounds are things like a distorted electric guitar or a square wave or a raspy voice. So here we start with a sine wave, and then we add the overtones on top, and it gets brighter and brighter. At first it sounds like real notes, but as they get higher and higher, they just start to sound like buzz. The overtone series is why some chords sound good together. They reinforce the harmonic series. We can see this with the overtone generator website, which lets you hear each relationship between notes in the overtone series. Each bar changes the volume of a multiple of the fundamental frequency. You can also see what different types of waves look like and what overtones each of them use. Here's square, sawtooth, and a simplified version of a violin. At the online tone generator, we can check out a lot of cool stuff with tones. When you set it to one hertz, do you hear the beat? Now let's speed it up and it eventually becomes a note. This means notes are just really fast beats and beats are just really slow notes. If we go back to the overtone generator, we can see something interesting. Any combination of notes can be thought of as a ratio, where each number represents the relative hertz of each tone. So this chord you're hearing has a relationship of five fourths. Now remember that a tone we hear is just a really fast beat, so these two tones represent a polyrhythm where every five beats of one, there's four of the other. And that gives us a nice, pretty major chord. The thing is, our brains love the simple math with small whole numbers. As the numbers and the relationships get bigger and more complicated, they sound more and more dissonant and kind of sour off. You can see this really clearly with the African polyrhythm generator. This is essentially the same concept, but slowed incredibly far down. If you play the four beat and the five beat at the same time, well, you're experiencing the same thing as a major third, a nice happy note and nice happy beat. But if you bring the numbers up, it starts to sound a little crunchy. You can also check out the page on binaural beats, which is an illusion that takes advantage of our brain's assumptions about what it's hearing. Now, put on some headphones for this and play slightly different tones in each ear, and your brain will fill in the beat it assumes it should be hearing. So if we play a 300 hertz tone in one ear and a 301 hertz in the other, we'll hear a pulse underneath it at a rate of one hertz, the difference between the two tones. And if we go back to the regular tone generator and play that one hertz beat again, it'll be about the same speed. Normally when you hear two frequencies that are similar but not exactly the same, the compressions of the air that cause the sound will cancel each other out, causing a beat. And this is not an illusion. It's actually how sound and air compression work. This website also has a hearing test that will sweep through all the hearable frequencies. Normally the human ear can hear between 20 and 20,000 hertz, but with age and damage to the sensory hairs in your inner ear, you may lose sensitivity to certain frequencies. Thank you, Jack. So, let's turn up the volume. Also, Jack, you probably should have closed this tab. That is inappropriate. All right, so, we are going to play at What? Oh my gosh, you just have one hour of relaxing Zelda Breath of the Wild music on. 
<laughs> now I know what you listen to. <laughs> that, that really scared me. Okay, I can hear that. Okay, it's going up. Oh, we're hitting 3,000. 4,000. 7,000. That's going to take a little while to get to 20. 8,000. Can everyone still hear this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sound so sad. Oh, that's getting... I feel like the dog is probably very upset. Oh, 11,000. 12,000. <laughs> I feel like I'm in one of those movies where the sonar is like, Oh, they're getting closer! <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Oh, we're at 15. I can't hear it anymore. Can you hear? I can't yeah. hear it. You, can, you guys can hear? Can you hear it? No. And we're at 17. 18. I can't hear anything. No. So I, I dropped off about 15,000 hertz. The other folks in the room that aren't Jack or Jake were about, what, 17,000 hertz? What were you at, I wonder? But you know what? Let's, let's move to something a little bit more calming. With calming tones, this chill music maker has a bunch of ways to customize the sounds it makes. You can choose the type of wave, the tempo, filters, and effects. Ooh, yeah, I feel calmer already. Do we have any other calm music dongs? You bet your ding dong diddly we do. <laughs> At Virtual Halo Player, you can play around with a simulation of this spacey instrument and a crazy amount of tunings. You can... <laughs> You just play <laughs> you just play with the numbers on your keyboard, but just so you know, we don't just do things online now, guys. Here, no, we don't, Barry White, do we? Disinterested. We also do things in real life now, guys, known as Durlings. And also before we get into the Durling, uh, if you want, there's more dongs right here in this playlist that you can click next to my face. That's wonderful. Barry White, where are you going? He's so confused. But now back to the Durling. Our wonderful VFX wizard and cinematographer here at Vsauce, Eric Langley, is going to play a halo drum that uh, he loves very much. His name is Susan, is what he calls it. And he's playing an original song that he wrote called Doves Fly Through the Air. And as always, thanks for watching. It's not original. <laughs>